Are you sure about this? Not particularly, no. But the Marquis is on the National Convention for Le Pelletier. He might have some insight. Uh, which is a more incisive commentary on corruption in the bishopric? Seven nuns seducing a parish priest into debauchery, or an enormously endowed Benedictine sodomizing a goat named Pius? No force in heaven or on earth will make me answer that question. Quite right, Arno. The goat it is. So, what can I do for you? And your charming companion. Louis-Michel Le Pelletier. What can you tell us about him? Ah, dear Louis. He went from abolishing the death penalty to calling for the king's head in two short years. Where can we find him? I'm afraid I don't often socialize with my fellow deputies. Something about my distaste for the beheading of the innocent. Speaking of innocence... De Sade. Mm -hmm. Le Peltier. Well, I believe he often takes meals at a certain cafe near Le Palais Royal. I believe you can find him there. If we don't, I'll be back. Really? Well, then I hope I'm mistaken. No, you don't. Wine delivery for the palace. Look it around back. Make sure you clean those windows properly this time, or Mr. Le Pelletier will have my yes, head! Madame. Bonjour, Citizen Le Pelletier. Citizen Talia. I know what tainted wine tastes like. There's 50 livres worth of wine here. What am I going to do with it? Well, you can sell it as a remedy for sore nipples, for all I care. But I'm not buying a drop of it. I'm trying to poison my customers. Sorry, sir. This may come in. Or to handy. call the gendarme. I'll have it taken away as soon as the cart returns. You 
want me to come over here and crush you, you pellet? Come here, you! What do you need a brother feet in? to be off to see himself in that glass when you're done. Get the grime out the corners. Monsieur Le Pelletier is a fastidious man. Pardon, mademoiselle. Monsieur Le Pelletier has complained of stuffiness in his office. Would this persuade you? Oui, monsieur. Remy, open the window. Monsieur Le Pelletier finds his office a bit stuffy. But, but you said... Just do it! All right. Les gens étranges sont sortis. The king must be seen as a criminal and a traitor. Only then 
when he's executed like a common villain, that we show the world Jacques de Molay's great truth. You may show the world what truths you like, Grandmaster. What I do, I do for the good of France. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Citizen Le Belletier, the vote stands at 360 for execution to 360 for clemency. How do you vote? Execution! The vote is cast and counted, Grandmaster. And? The king will die. I had no doubt. I shall very much look forward to witnessing the end of tyranny. I'll see to it you have the finest view. So, after Marie Levesque in yesterday's video, we are now up to Mikel Le Pelletier, a Templar who, apparently, is also a member of Parliament at the time that they were voting on the King's execution, and for whatever reason, Ubisoft left it open that it was a 50-50 vote until they got to Le Pelletier, who voted for execution, being literally the only vote that mattered. At this point in the game, I think we're actually getting to people who actually had nothing to do with Delos Sayre's murder, and Arno's now just killing anyone who is vaguely involved with any of the people he's already murdered, thereby getting to the point of killing people by death by association. I would say at this point that he's being a complete jerkwad because I personally hate Arno, but he's also part of the Templar Order, so this kinda just had to happen because. And to be fair, again, to Ubisoft, even with this game being one of the worst Creed games ever made, Le Pelletier's assassination is not that bad. It kind of takes place in a house setting, sort of like Marie's, but there doesn't seem to be any sort of party going on, he's just at home. And it's not that hard to get the objectives done, the optional stuff done. It's actually just really easy to go into the house, you know, kill a few guards because at this point you have higher level weaponry, so you aren't getting almost immediately insta-killed anytime you go into combat, and it's actually kind of getting easier to kill guards. You get to Le Pelletier, he's an easy kill. This is kind of just, you know, a lock, stock, and barrel standard assassination, which at this point, after seeing Roy Detoon, and Frederick Ruiz assassination, I can deal with. It's not anything that's gonna stand out, but at least it works. And at this point, again, that's all I'm really asking. Can we just get to the end and just stop doing all this nonsense? Because honestly, I'm getting kind of tired at Unity at this point. We're already getting into cleanup mode right now. There's only one or two Templars left to kill. So, I mean, there's not gonna be any spectacular change. There's not gonna be any super plot twist. This is just kinda gonna roll where it needs to roll and everything's gonna be by the end of the end credits. Did Le Pelletier need to die? Not really. Even in his post-death cutscene, there were 360 other people who voted for his execution. Arno's not gonna kill them because they're not Templars, but Le Pelletier, outside of voting against the king, didn't really do anything else besides being a Templar, so... If you're just gonna be going with these shallow justifications for killing people, where's the line gonna stop, Arno? The point is, Le Pelletier, average assassination, decent compared to the other assassinations of the game that didn't work, weren't designed even remotely well, and just completely broken. So, you know, it's just a thing that we need to do to keep the plot rolling, and Arno can further amble along to the end credits so that we can end the horribleness that was Assassin's Creed Unity. Thank Christ this is gonna be over soon.